And my name is Brian Gersa. I'm from Joppa, Maryland, and I have common variable immunodeficiency. So ever since I was young, as a young child, you know, my parents raised me, um, you know, to take care of yourself, um, just any way health-wise. And when I was diagnosed, um, it kind of made that so much more important to being able to look out if I'm starting to get sick, you know, going to the doctor, starting to get antibiotics, things like that. Um, just, they raised me not to participate in risky behaviors um, anyway, but you know, just making sure that I understand my limits health-wise and what I can do and what I can't do. And, and I push myself in different things, but you know, I, I can check myself to understand that there are some things that I are more danger to me just because of my disease and I have to be more vigilant um, in those type of things. Um, and then also, you know, just staying healthy, exercising um, every day, getting out, being active with my family, myself, my friends, you know, eating right, eating healthy, things like that. You know, it, it only helps with my disease and, and just keeping me as healthy as I can be. So I volunteer with IDF. The main thing that I do is a lot of ag advocacy. Um, I've done the Philadelphia walk back in early 2010s um, and that was a great experience and I got to you get to meet a lot of people through the walk and we got to go up to Philly we got to go get cheesesteaks it's it, it was a cool experience but you also give get to give back to the IDF community and then like I said I do a lot of ag advocacy um, at the local level I've met with local lawmakers um, about a lot of the stuff that's going on in the government now with healthcare, and I've also been to Annapolis. I've been to D.C. to talk with lawmakers at that level. They have more influence, so the message is more powerful. If I can get it across that I'm the face to one of the faces to the disease, and you can see how it can impact not only me but other people with my disease, their families, extended families. So. It was, it's a great opportunity that the IDF allows people to volunteer and they give them a wealth amount of resources to go out and to volunteer. They're not leaving them high and dry, not knowing what they talk about. They really get you prepared to be able to go and make a difference in the community. So the biggest misconception that I've, I've come in contact with is just, I just say the, the ignorancy. Um, you know, it's a lot of people think they know a lot of stuff. You know, if you hear immune immune disease, I'd say 99% of people think of AIDS first. First off, and that's just from experiences that they've had. I'd say probably throughout their life, or that they've seen things on TV. You know, that's the most I would say polarized disease. But it's I didn't contract this. I was born with it, it's out of my control, but also like I can't give this to somebody else. Um, so, and a lot of people, it, it's tough to explain to some people, and I've, I've gotten it, I under, understand my disease very well, and I've gotten it down to where I can tell people in a very simple manner, you know, my body doesn't create antibodies, and it doesn't have a long-term memory, so anything, illnesses that you get, you get build a defense to, you can't get again. I don't have that in my body, so I can get chicken pox, measles, mumps. I can get, technically get all of those things again. Um, and it's just some people, after you tell them, they still don't understand. And you know, I've had people make jokes, and um, even friends who, you know, they understand my disease, but they can also, they, they do make comments, and more than half the time, I can just brush it off and not, not, doesn't bother me. But there are also sometimes, you know, this is, it is a sensitive topic to me, so I can get a little bit defensive. It, that's with people that I know. I would not I would never get defensive with somebody that I don't know personally. But you know, the biggest thing I would say is just people not understanding and, and not taking the time to learn more about it and to understand where you're coming from. So it was definitely a tough time when I was diagnosed. So I was diagnosed at 15 years old. Um, and I didn't know anybody who had my disease. I always thought back then that I would never meet anybody who had my disease. I would go my whole lifetime not knowing anybody. 
So I first met, the first person I met, they were in their 60s. So yes, I could relate to them, but no, not to the extent that I could with somebody my own age. And I, my first event was King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. And then I met friends there, Adam, he's off camera, and Haley. Uh, they were the first friends who had my disease as well that I really gravitated toward. It was something about us that we instantly connected with one another. It was very easy. We loved the time that we spent with one another. And as I've gotten older and the more opportunities I've gotten to come to different events, that circle of family that I come there, my second family, has gotten wider and wider. And even though we've only been around each other, I'd say 10 times over the span of seven years, we have a very strong connection with one another. The time that goes by that we don't see each other to the time that we actually are with one another can fly by and it seems like it was only yesterday that we got to hang out again. And every time that we get to see each other, our, our bonds have gotten stronger and our relationships have gotten stronger. You get to grow with more and more people over time. You know, I, I consider that I can rely on these people with anything. I hadn't talked to Adam in, I'd say, two years. And just now, like, it's like that time has, hasn't passed. Oh, and it's, it's a special thing to have my disease. You know, I, I consider it like a double-edged sword. You know, it's, it is an unfortunate thing that I'm gonna have to deal with this for the rest of my life, but there's also a wealthy amount of opportunities and the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. Mm -hmm.